Coach Flores on earlier and Marcus, too. I asked him the same question, what happened between Marcus and Al. What did happen? They didn't give me much of an answer because they don't, neither of them really knew what happened. What do you think? Right. I know you I know you and Al had your, your tangles. But... Yeah, you know, I mean, and one of my big tangles was because of what had happened with Marcus, and, and I didn't want to be in that same position. So, you know, I mean, when, they, when I signed a deal with the Broncos and they brought me back, uh, me and Al had a six-hour conversation. And, you know, part of that conversation, a big part of that conversation was, why in the world would you treat a guy who is such a great player and great teammate, why would you treat him so bad? And um, so, you know, he had some answers that I didn't necessarily agree with, and it seems like it was a lot of, you know, he say, he say stuff. But at the same time, you know, uh, if a guy's producing for you on the field and it's not a problem in the locker room, whatever personal stuff is going on shouldn't be, you know. And I think that things just got out of hand and it became real personal later on. And I know Mark is at some point at the Hall of Fame deal, walked up to him and tried to, you know, shake his hand and, and put bygones behind. But you know, he wasn't willing to do that. And, you know, Mr. Davis was a stubborn man, but at the same time, he has his reasons for doing things. And, and you know, it, it is what it is. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.